Hello YouTubers and welcome back to the Cinema in Space. I got a new movie I'm going to review for you and you're going to enjoy it. It is, if you haven't seen it in the image in the background, it is VHS 2. Now, I thought the first VHS was okay. Way too many segments were missed. And a couple of segments were really good. The first one and the last one, they were really good. And the last one especially, that was my favorite one. It was awesome. It should have been its own standalone movie. Now VHS 2 has less segments, less time, which is good because I don't need to sit around for a movie for two hours for me to be entertained. Both the wraparound stories in this and the original one are both pretty stupid. But they do connect, so it is cool that there's, they are con uh, have a continuing continuity between them. Now, this one has four segments. The first one is Phase 1 Clinical Trials. Number 2 is A Ride in the Park. Number 3, Safe Haven. And number 4, Alien... Uh, Slumber party, slumber, bleh, slumber party alien abduction. I can't get my words right. I don't know why. Now, phase one of the clinical trials is directed by the guy who made recently You Are Next. Now, this one was pretty cool. Uh, I like the concept, even though I don't think the technology where you can have a camera in your eye exists yet. It was just a way for them to get a POV shot. Uh, they might have been able to do that in a different way, but the way they did that in connection to the story was really well done. It has some good chills. I very much enjoyed it. Definitely recommend it. I give that one in itself a 3 out of 5. The next one, Ride in the Park. This one is about a guy who's riding his bike. Oh yeah, he, this one was directed by the dude who made the Blair Witch Project. Don't remember his name, but that guy. Um, this one is about a guy who rides his bike. He stops and sees this one girl who needs help. And then you see these people walking after her in the background. And then you see that she gets bitten she winds up biting him because she is indeed a zombie. And then he becomes a zombie and then he goes on a rampage where he starts eating people. Um, it's kind of silly. I think that's what they're going for though. So I can kind of recommend it in the fact that it's just a really dark horror comedy. Uh, even though the ending kind of leaves you thinking it probably wasn't supposed to be a horror comedy. But it still was entertaining in itself and I'd give it also a 3 out of 5. Now this is where I start getting annoyed because the next one is Safe Haven, and this one was directed by the director of The Raid, and his name is, um, let me find it, let me find it, let me find it, Garth Evans. Yes, Garth Evans directed Safe Haven, and this movie, Safe Haven, is a better Safe Haven than the other Safe Haven that came out either this year or last year. Um, now, you see, this is why I start getting annoyed, because Safe Haven is the best. Best on this one, and it's better than any one that was in the first one. This could have been its own movie, its own little short film released by Garth Edwards as like a bonus feature. This deserved a, to be in a better movie than VHS 2. Sort of like with the lot in the first one, the last thing that they had, that deserved to be in a better movie than VHS 1. Um, now the plot of that one is, it's about a group of reporters. They are looking into this cult, trying to see what the, their whole shindig is. And then it all goes bad. Now this one is entertaining and it is creepy and it has everything right with it. The acting is good. The action in it is good. It has a great ending. I definitely recommend it. This one gets a perfect score of a 5 out of 5. This needed to be its own movie. This needed to be in something better than VHS 2. And let me tell you why. Because the last one, Slumber Party Alien Abduction, or is it Alien Abduction Slumber Party? Who cares what it's called? Because this one's horrible. This is the worst one out of any of the short films of all of, of both of the VHS movies, and I thought the one, one the, and I thought the segment in VHS one where the one girl with the Skype cameras, I thought that one was pretty awful. But this one is the worst. It is stupid. It is boring. It is just bad. Even though I will say one part of it is funny, where the one guy says, "Suck my, you know what?" and the kid just, you just hear the kid in the yell in the background, "I don't want to." That is the only thing that has even remotely close to redeeming quality about it. The rest of it is pure, utter garbage. It does not have enough gore. It does not have likable characters like Safe Haven. And let me tell you why this angers me so much. In this one, they saved the worst for last. In the first one, they saved the best for last. You show Safe Haven last. And they knew Safe Haven was the best. They knew it. These segments here, these three, the main ones they show, those are all from Safe Haven. And one from Alien Abduction Slumber Party, whatever the hell it's called. There's one. You know they know it's the best when they show more of those segments. Why did they not show that one last? It's the best one. Like, it do no one gives a shit what order it's in. Just put that one last and let us be entertained by the best one.
You save the best for last. That's why they call it save the best for last because it's the best and you save it for last. You do not have a rant. You don't have some crappy segment be the last one. You never do that. And like, it's angering me because like, it's just, of course, they're like these generic looking aliens as you can see right there. That's what they look like. So they give away the freaking alien look on the freaking case. And it's just like, these aliens are scrawny. Like, if this happened in my backyard, they'd be like, my friends and I, we'd be hanging out, we'd just see aliens. There'd be five dead aliens in the backyard. They don't show any, like, things other than the fact that they can, like, overwhelm you. And I know they are just kids, but there's this one guy who gets taken out by one of them in, like, the first 30 seconds. I'm like, dude, really? You suck. And the ending of it, I don't like that. Like, I don't like the way they ended it either. That was like, that was just cruel. You don't do that. And it's probably the guy who made Hobo with a shotgun. And Hobo with a shotgun was terrible. So no wonder this one was bad. I, like, really, why would they end it with the worst? I can't, like, I cannot even fathom what they were thinking when they ended it with that one. Like, there's nothing in my brain that has me thinking, oh, yeah, that makes sense about how Silver Party Alien Abduction is the last one. I don't get it. Like, why? It is awful. It is the worst one. At least, like, even if they didn't have Safe Haven as the last one, they could have had, you know, the first one be the last or something like that. But Summer Party Alien Abduction, you don't end a movie like this with Summer Party Alien Abduction. And this is probably why I dislike this one more than the first one. Because they use the worst one last. In the first one, they use the best for last. And they seem to, like... I don't know whether or not that was an accident, but this one they did the worst, and that is not acceptable. Like, oh, that bothers me. You use Safe Haven last. You use the guy who actually has a good, like, he didn't direct much, but you have the guy who directed an awesome raid movie, this beautiful action masterpiece of a film. You have him do the last segment. You don't have guy who did Hobo with the shotgun. You don't do that. It's terrible. At least the ending of the wraparound segment was decent. I liked that. It was dark. It was bloody. It was entertaining. But alien. Anyways, let's get to the let's get to this bonus features before I have another spasm attack. You get tape forty nine rewind, dissecting phase one clinical trials. Which since it's called phase one, I'm expecting if they make a VHS three, they'll have the phase two. I'm assuming, or maybe there's gonna be a spin off of that. Inside safe haven and abduction. Solar Party Alien Abduction Behind the Legends, which I'm not going to watch. All right in the Dark, I Dare You. Access TV, a look at VHS2. Behind the Scene Photo Galleries, Filmmaker Commentary, and uh, Theatrical Trailers. So it does have, for a DVD release, it does have decent bonus features. Um, I would say it is worth checking out. Um, I will safely say this, you can skip over all of the segments. All of them. Because Safe Haven is just that good. It needed to be in a better movie than this. It needed to be. Um, and that's why the first time I watched it, I actually turned it off after Safe Haven because I'm just like, I'm not having some crappy last segment ruin the best segment in the movie for me. I'm just not doing it. And lo and behold, it is the worst. It's not just, it didn't just depress me. It just made me angry that they ended it with that one. So the movie out of the whole, I have to give it like a three, but Safe Haven, um, and when I do my top 10 favorite films of the year, I might include that one alone in my top 10 because it is that good. But if I have to do the rule of including the entire movie as one, it can't be. But Safe Haven really is a fantastic short film. It's entertaining. It's bloody. It's fast-paced. It keeps it interesting. And the twist at the end is awesome. And it has better creature effects than Alien Abduction. I can't believe it bring that one up again but anyways like I said it is worth checking out just for the love of God I mean you might enjoy the last segment but it, I hated it like and if I do a worst films of the year the the last one slumber party alien abduction will most likely be on there and look they, like look again it says from the directors of the raid that was the first they knew it was the best and like, they knew that one was the best. They had that one be the first. I'm assuming they thought the alien abduction was the second best. But they knew it. They knew it. That's unbelievable. Now, anyways, that is my review for VHS 2. 
just the fact that they ended it with such a crap. Like, if they had that somewhere in the middle, I wouldn't have cared. But the fact that they ended it with that. And a movie is can be ruined by a crappy ending. And that's what they did. They ended it with a crappy segment. And it could be that I'm more angry with it because they followed... It was preceded by such a fantastic short film. That could be why it's bothering me this much. But it is not good. It is not good. You can watch the first three. Skip that one. And then go right to the end. They could have just said, hey, we're going to take this one, completely remove it, make the movie a bit shorter. Maybe you'll like it. I hated it. The movie itself, the whole as a whole, was decent. It was okay. But Alien Abduction, oh my god, that was just so bad. Anyways, that is my review for VHS 2. Hope to catch you all later.